Welcome back to the channel. I've had some comments asking for Monkey Report on Mac OS, um, likely on the same system that they're running Monkey on. The easiest way to do that is to actually use MDS to install Monkey Report, and then we can go from there and, and tweak our .env file and set things up to function, but MDS will set up the web service for us. So we'll go ahead, we'll download MDS, and get monkey report added to it and work through getting that server set up to a functional state where you can move forward, tie your Mac to a fully qualified domain name and start getting reporting on your devices. So we'll see you after the break. So we're on uh, two canoes bit bucket site and we'll go ahead and take the latest and greatest of MDS, which I don't care that it's pre even pre-beta. Um, it's been working fine for me, as you can see, 200 downloads. Let's open that DMG and run the package. I have a pin code because I have a YubiKey smart card in the device. Uh, if you're interested, I can do a, a video on how to set that up. For sure on Intel, I think I can also do it on, on Apple Silicon. Uh, I not actually tried. So we now have that, and we'll go ahead and open up MDS. We're not going to create an SSL certificate. I would suggest doing so if you're going to end up putting this out publicly. You're going to want a secure encrypted connection between your device and your web server and a trusted web server. I would, however, suggest going with Let's Encrypt over a built-in um, over a built-in SSL certificate. Let's encrypt at least is trusted by all devices. It's yeah, you have to renew it every 90 days, but it's worth your while to go through that instead of creating a self-signed SSL certificate. But again, we're just gonna bypass this and <clears throat> move forward with through the monkey report setup. So I'm gonna go don't ask again and not now. And then what we need to do is jump to our monkey report tab. We, it needs us to go out to the download page or unlock it again with that pin, if I can type it correctly. And then we can import monkey report files. I have it here in my downloads. It's the latest. You're welcome to click that button and go out and grab it. So we'll import, go out to our downloads and just take the folder. So we'll open that up. And it's already gonna start the process and pull up, open up Monkey Report. Um, that's fine. As you can see, here it is already. And it's unlocked, so I think we honestly, we need to create a user. So we'll jump back into MDS and add a username. So we'll do YouTube and a quality password. Now, if we jump out here, we can get in. Um, I have done some testing and have found that clicking the update button is just doesn't work right now, which is fine. We can work our way around that. So what we're going to do is we're first going to actually set up our .env file, which is our overall environment file. Um, this is how you basically tell monkey report what you want set up. Um, one thing we can do is I'll actually just duplicate the tab. And one of the big pieces is the modules. Um, we'll get there, uh, but we can add custom modules. I hope to at some point do a Jamf uh, integration. Uh, there is a custom module, third party module set up for Jamf Pro. Um, so we'll look into getting that set up. We'll work on, but right now we're going to work on kind of the bare minimum. Um, at this point, the device I'm running isn't running monkey. So we're going to see some known failures, which is totally fine. Um, but we'll move forward and get there, get everything set up. Some of the modules I like are, we're just going to take, um, take the whole 
piece here. And this is where it would be module search path where you'd have to, you'd have uh, the custom vendor like tuxedo full path to custom folder of modules. Right now, we're just going to take this section and what we need to do is go to back into MDS and then we can go over to preferences and see here is our monkey report folder. If we click the little button here, it'll take us out here. And then a little trick because .env is a hidden file, we can do command shift period on the keyboard and show all of our hidden files. Um, so we'll open .env with bbedit along with, jump back into our finder here, our .env.example. So open that with bbedit. And at least this sets us up with an example page. Um, if you wanted to use a different database, you could go ahead and set all that stuff up and um, hide all of that. Uh, we do have an SQLite database already set up. Um, it is on this device and I'll show you here in a bit where it is. Um, but we're gonna leave all of this as defaults. Um, we do wanna grab index page and I know I've already copied modules. So we'll first do uh, modules and then env we'll grab the uh we'll grab index through site name and paste that in there and we'll call this youtube monkey report and then what else do we need we've got the non-active modules are hidden our authentication method is already set up um, it's right here at the top where it says auth methods local, which is why we had to set up our YouTube username. Um, we can set up roles. You can have active directory authentication. That's not within the scope of the video, but that is also a cool piece where you could, you know, log in with your AD credentials, um, tie groups to it, all of that sort of stuff. You can set up roles and groups, uh, local groups, um, in my previous version of monkey report, I had set up um, business units where if you're an MSP, you can set it up to have each company kind of roll in on their own. If the company is no longer a customer, all you have to do is pull their customer number out of monkey report. Those devices are no longer able to check in. Um, and then you can go ahead and uninstall monkey report from those devices. Uh, so, I'm pretty happy with this. We've got our modules. Um, we've got disk report, monkey report. I'm going to pull managed installs out because again, I don't have monkey. Let's go find ourselves a different module that would be good to throw in there. Um, quick and easy. We'll go. Displays info. Why not? Maybe one more. Uh, file vault status. Give us a little bit of information. More. And you can go through and see there's a lot more about what, what you, about the machine that you can pull in. Uh, network may not be a bad one to grab. And Sure, software update, we'll call that good. Um, so then we can save this out, type in the password, and our ENV file is saved. Now we need to go through the process of what they call migrating the database. And you can see back here, we're on the quick demo side, and we've created our config file, which is our ENV. Now we need to initialize the database. And so all we have to do is we'll open a terminal window along with our finder and we will drag in, we'll say CD and then drag in our monkey report folder. And I made the mistake of not spacing that out. So we'll go back here, space, and, and then we can do a dot slash, please migrate. 
And as you can see, we're migrating it. That's that same update command that was in monkey report. We're just taking care of it from the terminal side and we will need to restart our web server. The way I like to do it is to just jump back into MDS and unlock web services, shut down web services. Easy way to do that. And we can also shut down monkey report. Now we can turn web services back on and monkey report will now get updated, active. And if we go back to our monkey report site, you can see it's YouTube monkey report. There's a pending Apple widget and pending monkey widget, which are unknown at this time due to the way the custom dashboard set up. I think pending monkey is the managed installs. I haven't figured out what pending Apple is, but what we need now is we need a device in monkey report. So let's use this device that is currently our server and get it tied in. And the easiest way I like to do it is to, this isn't a great way to curl the command down, um, but it, it works for testing. What I would recommend is using auto package and auto or auto packager to set up a custom recipe to install a package for monkey report. Um, that's not within the scope of this video. I can make that if you're interested. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the majority of this command and paste it into terminal. And then we gotta tweak this up because it is localhost.8881. We can double check that by going back into monkey report and seeing this is our URL. It is port 8881. Um, localhost should work. We'll find out. And pin form sudo. And it's happy, it's good to go. So we just need to run the monkey report runner. We'll copy that, dump that into terminal, see what happens. And we're getting an error. Our error is that our SQLite database is not writable by uh, our www user or our web user. So we need to quick go edit that. And the easiest way I've found is to just go to the monkey report site because this is our public, I'm pretty sure this is where our public file is. And if we do a get info, uh, not on ENV, um, on monkey report and see our sharing and permissions, we can see we have this underscore www user. And what we can do is just apply to enclosed items. And this way our database, which it's actually lives in the app DB, there's our SQLite database. Now if we rerun our monkey report runner, it can update all the information in our SQLite database. So we're good to go. Um, we can jump out to monkey report and see we have our one client. It can't find pending Apple and can't find pending monkey, but we have free disk space. We have our uptime information. We have local admins MacBook Pro, which we can click on and see it's running 11.5.1. It's got 16 gigs of RAM. It's not pulling in a Mac address, I don't think. Um, but a remote IP address, that's what it's not pulling in. Uh, but we can see we've got two displays. We've got a color LCD, and then we've got my output for my black magic. And we can see all of that connectivity. Um, what else can we see? We've got file vault turned on. Um, local admin is the enabled user, which is not the user we're in. Um, with the, I had to do some testing for work and customer wanted to use smart cards, you need to have a local user that can authenticate to file vault, but can't authenticate with a smart card. 
So played around with that, um, kind of fun. And network, LG monitors disconnected, USB is disconnected, we have Wi-Fi connected, have an IP. So as you can see, we're getting a lot of information about the device. Um, and if you use more modules right now, it doesn't say much more about software update. Um, but if I ran software update and then run the runner, because right now it doesn't even tell me that I have a need for 11.6, which is available. Let's see if we run the runner again. Do we get an update in software update? Updates available. Yep, two. And it's not going to tell us. It's just telling us the history. We can see the recommended updates are device support update and Mac OS Big Sur 11.6. So as you can see, it's not that hard to set up Monkey Report on a um, Mac OS system if we use MDS. We can also use Docker, which I'm happy to do another video, and Docker would allow us to migrate that system around if we outgrew the need for the Mac, or we need to start clustering Monkey Report if we got so big. Um, let me know. I'd be happy to look into that, set up another video. Um, with that said, if you've made it this far, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and clicking that bell icon for notifications on when I post more content. I appreciate all the support thus far and getting to a thousand subscribers. Let's see where we can go with this and keep building this channel out to something that could be great and helpful for all Mac admins and network admins and just general tech enthusiasts. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.